Evidence from more than 70 witnesses will be heard at an inquest into the death of the man at a South London police station. Sean Rigg had a history of mental illness. He died shortly after being arrested in August 2008. Today, the jury was sworn in at the inquest, which could last up to eight weeks. Our special correspondent, Kurt Barling, reports. Over the past four years, the family of Sean Rigg have led a very public campaign to ensure his case was kept in the public eye. Today, Coroner Andrew Harris opened the inquiry at Southwark Coroner's Court, where nearly 70 witnesses will give evidence. No, no, I'm innocent, Lee. Mr. Rigg was a musician and performer and had led an eventful life despite his personal battle with mental illness for over 20 years. His family say they admired how well he coped with his diagnosis of schizophrenia. By the time he was 40, he was living in a high support community mental health hostel. Prior to his arrest on the 21st of August 2008, he'd stopped taking his medication and the hostel called the police several times because his behaviour was giving cause for concern. Mr Rigg left the hostel and police found him wandering the streets close by the Weir estate after being called by a concerned member of the public and taken to Brixton Police Station. His family have maintained ever since that he should have been taken to a hospital, which is the right place of safety for someone so unwell. Today I spoke to the family of Sean Rigg, and it's clear there's an element of relief that finally they're going to hear evidence which will get them to the truth of what happened to him on the 21st of August 2008. Kurt Barling, BBC London News. The chief executive of Thames...